I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn a technique of converting one form of equation into another. The question here is write the following quadratic equation in vertex form. Equation is y equals to 3 times x minus 3 times x plus 5. Now as you know vertex form of quadratic equation is y equals to a times x minus p whole square plus q where vertex is pq right so that is the vertex form now you can pause the video try this question out and then look into my suggestion now one way of doing it is you can expand this get it in standard form and then do completing the squares to get the vertex form but that's a very lengthy procedure i will show you another technique let me first uh, make you understand what this form is. So in intercept form, what do we, how does that help? Now that gives you intercepts at three and, uh, and minus five. So a parabola, which is opening upwards since x coefficient is positive, could be drawn kind of like this, right? So kind of like this, with face up, happy face. And this parabola will have two x-intercepts, one will be at minus 5, the other one will be at 3. The axis will be right in the middle, right? So the axis x will be at mean value or average of these two. So we can add them up, divide by 2, that gives us minus 2 by 2 as equals to minus 1. So this axis is at x equals to minus 1. So with that, we have got p-value, do you see that? Now to get the value of q, what we need to do is substitute the value of x as minus 1 in the equation, correct? So that is the technique. I hope you got the technique. Now you can pause the video and answer the question. So let's apply this technique here. So from here, what we know is that x is of symmetry is at x equals to minus 1, correct? Now, vertex will lie on axis of symmetry. So, let's find that value. So, y will be equals to 3 times minus 1 minus 3 times minus 1 plus 5, correct? And that gives you 3 times minus 4 times plus 4. And this is 16 negative value times 3, which is 64, right? 64. So, we get this value as minus 64. You get an idea correct so so we got the value of q so now from here we know that the vertex vertex is at minus 1 minus 64 correct how about a so we know vertex that means p comma q is indeed minus 1 minus 64 and a is 3 you can compare the two equations right so when you multiply x and x, you get x squared times 3. So that is a. So a is, and we know that a is equals to 3. Once we know that, we can write the equation in vertex form. So the equation is y equals to 3 times x minus of minus 1. I mean, gives plus 1, right? Whole square minus 64. Is it okay? So that is how you can actually write the equation in vertex form from intercept form without completing the squares. That's the beauty. So I hope you have understood the steps involved here and these steps will be very, very useful. They will save a lot of time in test for you. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.